Hello, this is your brother, BK Frimpong, the teacher in the OKOK Ministries, Kingdom of Knowledge Ministries, impacting generations. And I hope you'll be impacted before you leave this channel. Today on Dating and Courtship, we are discussing a very interesting topic. I'm saying, be mindful of the marriage and don't marry because of the wedding. Let your mind be on the marriage and not the wedding ceremony. Let your mind be on the marriage and not the wedding ceremony. Today, wedding ceremonies are beautiful, wonderful, colorful, full of joy, uh, memorable moments, uh, sweet pictures. It is unimaginable. The wedding of today looks so, so, so beautiful. And for that reason, most young ones and most youth have lost concentration to the extent that our focus is on the wedding more than the marriage. It's just like the wedding ceremony is everything. And we must do everything to ensure it's a top notch, to ensure it is one of the best in the country, to ensure it is one of the best in our community and in our church. Our concentration is on the wedding ceremony and not the marriage we are about to enter. When I was about to marry, one wise man called me and said, Son, if you do the most beautiful wedding in the world, people will still have something to say. Oh, the cook was good, but the songs were bad. Oh, the show was nice, but the couples did not look that appealing. The man was not smiling. Oh, the tilapia doesn't taste well. There will always be something to say. When you do a very moderate one too, they will have something to say. So do not focus on the wedding ceremony. For it is not the main goal, he said. The goal and what you are about to enter is what you should concentrate on. Ask yourself the key questions. How can I make this marriage work? How do I marry till death do us part? Hey, will I and this woman be able to make it? Ask yourself the key questions. Ask yourself what is important. Concentrate on the future together with your partner. And envision that, envision that, and see that future and ask yourself, am I ready? The same thing I'm telling you young ones who are dating and courting. On the day of the wedding ceremony, we will all be there in our best at us. We will come and celebrate and dance and have those last moments with you. But bear in mind that no matter how long, no matter how many minutes and how far we spend with you, the wedding ceremony will be over. Keep this in mind that the wedding ceremony is also within time. No matter how beautiful, how splendid it is, how expensive it is, that day will come to an end. On my wedding day, a friend came to me and said, Jack, how are you? And I said, I'm doing well. Then he said, why? How is your confidence level? I told him this. That whatever happens today, the day will go to an end. 
night will fall or night will surely come and will surely go to sleep and it means that whatever happens today this wedding will come to an end i'm telling you no matter how beautiful no matter how anticipated no matter the number of time period months years that has been spent planning that particular wedding ceremony or that engagement it will surely come to an end and as you see us dancing laughing cheering with you it will surely end and you see us leave one by one one by one to the extent that at that night it will be left with only you and your partner in your room oh brothers and sisters as you are dating and courting be studying each other be marking yourself keep the book of records tighter and be asking yourself the question can we stay till death do us part can we hold on to each other till death do us part can we be faithful on the path we are taking can we uphold the rule book and do as we are commanded. Can we marry? These are the things that should be going on in your mind. We focus on the marriage. Looking at the eye, each other in the eyes. On the wedding day, when you are wearing the ring, when you are saying the vows, have this at the back of your mind. That can we do it together? Oh, Heavenly Father, come and strengthen us. Come and lead us on this journey, O oh Lord, and make it a success. That should be what we should be concentrating on. Not the wedding ceremony. If you concentrate on the wedding ceremony, and you are so happy to marry him or her because of the wedding ceremony, I promise you that you won't last. The marriage will not survive. It will not stand the test of time. It will end. The reason why during the dating phase and the courtship stage, it is only you and your partner is that we are allowing you as your friends, family, lovers, neighbors, church members, and as your colleagues, we have allowed you that the two of you should spend time and assess yourself and after the two of you have agreed and come to the conclusion that you can stay together invite us and let's come and share our last moments with you as singles and usher you into the world of secrecy so today I admonish you that your concentration be on the marriage. That is the difficult aspect. The wedding ceremony, even a fool can organize it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying here with me. Thank you for having me. If you are blessed, subscribe to the channel. If you are new, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification button and keep coming back for more. Share the videos to your loved ones and those who need it. So we meet again, God willing, next week, I am out of here. Bye.